All right, we've been talking about the smart home and cameras are something that um, are definitely uh, part of the smart home these days uh, as that smart home kind of evolves. But WISE has brought out two particular cameras that are just revolutionizing um, basically the smart home because they're so unbelievably cheap. First of all, I've got the WISE V2. This is the WISE Cam V2. And this one goes for $25. I'm going to open the box and get into there and uh, show you what, what that comes with and talk a little bit about it. Then we've got the pan as well. So this is an actual PTZ camera. So it pans, tilts, and zooms. And this one is only $38. So if you're looking at smart cameras for surveillance or anything else, uh, this is um, the, the most unbelievably economical solution. So let's get into the box and we'll take a look at what these come with. So we'll get into the V2 first, the Wisecam V2. Let's pop into the box. And when I think of the smart home and surveillance being tied together, I'm, I'm just blown away at how this can be done so incredibly cheap. There it is. So let's get in there. The camera is very, very small. Oh. What else is in the box? It almost looks like a little Bluetooth speaker. The size of it, anyway, yeah. is very, very small. Very small phone. What's in here? Okay, so we've got a USB uh, power adapter, cable. Oh, come on. There it is. Okay, so what do we have? This is how many amps? Oh, it's very, very little power. Uh, 1,000 milliamps. There we go. We've got a USB uh, micro. We've got some... Ma uh, magnetic plate that we can stick onto the wall if we want to be able to magnetically um, stick this up. But let's get in here. Um, you already know about all, all that. So this again is only $25. It's 1080p. Both cameras are 1080p. They both have two-way audio so that you can communicate with, uh, with somebody on the other side and hear what's going on. So we've got uh, power input there and we've got a USB jack and this pops open here. Oh, it's cute. Yeah, it's cool, eh? So the stand kind of holds it like that. So when you two-way audio, you mean you can have two microphones talking back and forth? Well, you can talk from your smart app. Oh, gotcha. So the Wise app. So it pivots. The one thing that I don't see here is I do not see quarter-inch capability. And there's nothing under the sticker here. I'm just scratching to see if I can feel a quarter inch screw hole and I do not. So unfortunately this is not something that you can mount on a tripod um, or like on a wall adapter such as something like this okay. uh, for surveillance. But it is something that you can put on uh, a surface mm -hmm. or as I mentioned it does come with this magnetic plate. So if you don't have uh, something steel that you can uh, mount it to. This double sided sticker We'll stick that to, say, a wall or whatever else. And then I guess this has got, yeah, that's got some nice strong magnetism So to that it. just means it would stick on your fridge, too, if you needed it to. Oh, yeah, you could put right? this right on your fridge and monitor, from your monitor fridge late somewhere. night snack, <laughs> snacking. <laughs> there you go. So that is all that's in the box there. And the only disappointment, if you will, I would say it would have been nice if they would have put a quarter inch um, hole on that. And right. they, they've certainly got room for it. That would have been the one bonus so that it could have been put on a tripod or something along those lines. Now, in so theory, though, could you not use the double stick tape? On a tri? What do you mean? No, like say you wanted to stick it to a wall or something. You could use the double stick tape for that, couldn't you? Well, you just use the magnet. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's really just strong. Me. And then that way you can pull it off and you're not damaging the wall. It's mm -hmm. d you'll just have this circle on the wall. Um, it has infrared, so we've got night vision, it's got 1080p, and the infrared is about 30 feet view, uh, and of course a 1080p camera, which we will be looking at um, on a future review. This is just an unboxing, just so that you can see what comes in the box, uh, but that is uh, something that we're going to be looking at more closely. You'll notice on the bottom here a couple quick things. Uh, we've got a button here, which allows you to, um, like this is like your setup button, and then we've got an SD card slot for micro SD cards, 
because you can record directly to your SD card so that not everything is going to the cloud. It's going to actually save to your SD. Okay, let's get into the pan. So the one thing about this is it's stationary, right? It's going to sit there and where you point it is where it's going to be pointed and there's nothing that you can do to change that. Now, Wise heard the call of the community and said, okay, we're going to bring out another camera. This is called the Pan, the Wise Cam Pan. And let's pop into the box of this one as well. This one goes for $38 on Amazon.com, and uh, you can actually get both of these through our website, which is a way to support Category 5 TV if you appreciate the reviews and the unboxings that we do. Uh, please head on over to cat5.tv slash wise, and you'll be able to get them there. Uh, it's still through Amazon, but you're supporting us through the affi affiliate links. Uh, okay, so this is a, a significantly larger unit. <laughs> okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get out of the box. Get out of the box. Seriously, I'm going to have to destroy the box to get into it. That is a snug packaging, folks. Oh, my goodness. No wasted space there. I know. Oh, my. Ah, there we go. We got it. Okay. That this was enjoyable is, to watch. Yeah, was it? <laughs> oh, good. Holy cow. All right, there we go. This, oh, all right. First of all, this is significantly larger. Mm -hmm. um, so I didn't realize it was as big as it is. Um, in the pictures, it looks like it's quite small. This is, you know, there's oh, right. the wise cam. Uh, what can I compare this to? I mean, you look at, um, you know, the power adapter, which is similar to what you'd have for your phone, and you can see the difference in, uh, in size. You've got your phone as well. You want to? Well, yeah, I'm just thinking form factor of a... Uh that's a Samsung uh, A8. Oh, yeah? Okay. All right. Well, there you go. Yeah. So you can so see it, it's a big boxy thing. Yeah. Um, again, this is only 38 bucks, and it's got pan, tilt, and zoom. So the camera will move up and down, which you can control from the app. And then on the base, it will rotate. And then the zoom, presumably, is going to be digital. It has a 1080p sensor, and this one does have quarter inch. So nice thing about this being PTZ, now I can, in fact, mount this. This is just a cheap little uh, surveillance uh, wall mount that I picked up. Uh, it's like $4 on Amazon. Big deal, right? Uh, so I can actually mount that quarter inch on the wall, and I don't have to invest in the overpriced proprietary, like designed for this particular camera uh, mounting unit, which is good for outdoors, but for indoors, I don't need the weatherproof housing and the problems that come with it with the, uh, the, the interference that it causes with the um, night vision, for example. Uh, you might read that uh, in some of the reviews. Um, but this too has 30, uh, 30 feet um, of night vision, two-way audio, 1080p, and there's not much to it. There's the power input on the base. Uh, I like that it's on the base because as the camera moves, the base is going to remain stationary. See that? Right. Then we've got a USB jack, which we're going to look into what that can be used for. Again, on the bottom here, we've got a micro SD card reader, uh, writer, I should say, because that's where you're going to be able to store your uh, video. And we've got the uh, setup button as well. Something else here which I'm not too sure. That must be the microphone uh, right there in the base. And just quickly, there's one other box here in the package. And I presume this is just the same sort of thing. Yeah, USB cable. And there's our USB brick. Tic Tacs. And that's it. As I was saying, what's neat about these is that they use cloud services, mm -hmm. but they do something very, very different. And I know that this is an unboxing. This is not a product review yet. We are going to be doing mm -hmm. that. And of course, the links will be below as soon as that's available for you. But what it does is if there's motion detected, it's going to ping you in your app. It also has sound recognition, like intelligent sound recognition. Mm -hmm. So if the fire alarm in your house goes off, your app is actually going to tell you that the fire alarm is going oh. off because the audio in these are able to determine, oh, that's a fire alarm. Oh, that's a CO2 alarm. Mm. And it's oh. going to notify you of that fact that something's going on that you need to check out. So you bring up the app and you're able to watch 
the video, see what's going on. Now with the PTZ model, you're able to turn the camera, you're able to move it up and down, and you're able to zoom in and out. With this one, it's stationary video. Again, $25, $38. The price point is astonishing. So, sorry, right. so this one has zoom i thought it was just pan well it's ptz so we're gonna review oh, okay. we're gonna hook it up we're gonna test it over the next week and then we're gonna come back on the show uh, and do an actual product review mm -hmm. this of course is the first time we've been into the box so we haven't fired them right. up and tried them yet um, but it does market itself as ptz which means pan tilt zoom okay does it have zoom I don't know yet. Might be a digital it thing. may be digital. I yeah. don't see an optical zoom apparatus. It's just a very, very tiny retina on the on the camera. So I doubt it's optical. It's going to be digital, if anything. Okay. Um, but digital can be pretty good in this space sure. because we're talking about a 1080p um, video. Right. And you know, if you pull in a little bit on that, y it's pretty good. Yeah, you're still going to get something. Your standard surveillance camera is significantly less than 1080p. So something like this with a 1080p sensor, the video right. quality is 1080p, you're getting HD video, it's better than your typical surveillance system. And so it, it connects through Wi-Fi, correct? It does, yeah. So could you have this connected through Wi-Fi, say, to like your Google Home or... Or something so that they do have Amazon Alexa support. Okay. Um, so if you have an, an Alexa show for, I, I'm, I beg your pardon, an Echo show, and I apologize if I just set off your, <laughs> your device. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. Um, but uh, so mute your device because I sometimes mess up. Um, <laughs> if you have an Echo show or another device that has the screen, then you can actually say, let me see the backyard. And you'll oh. see the, the camera that's in the backyard that's identified as such. Oh. And in your app, you can, in fact, name each camera, yep. and you can have multiple cameras set up. So you could have five of these guys stationary placed around your office, right. and then you can have a couple of these where you need to be able to pan and tilt. Right. Right. And they're all available within so the same app. So you could use these for, like, a bunch of different things. Absolutely. Right? Like, if you have young kids, say you have young kids and you mm -hmm. have, like, a pool in the backyard. Now, it's fenced off and everything. Sure. You know, but you want to make sure that you're notified at all if there's any action just at that back sure door. Just make sure that everyone's to, safe. Right, exactly. Yeah. Just mount one of those and it would mm -hmm. just ping you if... If there's motion, yeah. right. if there's something going on, if there's someone stealing Amazon packages off your front porch, right? right. you know, these kinds of things, this or, could be the answer. Or somebody dropping Amazon packages off at your front porch, although I do get oh, a ding when they're dropped off. Because I'm like but waiting like, yeah, eagerly. Exactly. I'm like, I want another Wise Cam. Has it arrived yet? Now, I do know that, like, I mean, you can see it right there on Discord that GWG has 10 of these. 10. Right. So he's, he's the price ten. point. So you think about that and you think that's absurd. Ten oh. of these wise cams. Think about the price point at $25. So $250. And this is not a sales pitch and this is not, I'm not selling anything tonight. Um, even though, you know, I'd encourage you to buy them through our links because it does support us. Yes. But to say that, think about like the, the next best option. Smart cameras for Nest, for example, Nest Cam. Right. 200 bucks even. Right. So, see, this you is can you can have ten. ten of these for just a little bit more money. Well, this is speaking to me heavily because about two months ago, I bought a security system for our house because mm -hmm. in our cul-de-sac we've had an issue of weekly attempted break-ins oh. to the cars. Oh no! And a couple times they've gotten into my wife's vehicle. But our neighbor okay. went and bought a Nest when they were. Uh, it was a Black Friday sale, and he's yes. like, "Oh yeah, we picked up a Nest for two hundred right. bucks, so I got two of them." And I'm like. I don't want to spend 200 bucks. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, but I bought a camera. It's only four cameras, 1080p for 200 bucks with a hard right. drive that does upload to the cloud and everything. I'm looking at this yeah. going. Okay. So, oh. and you already spent that. I already spent oh, it. Oh, burn. Okay. Let me just put something out there. So, the car break in thing is a problem. Yeah. This is what's happening in the community right now. 25 bucks. Yep. Okay. It's powered by USB. Okay. What do we know about USB with our power adapter? Our that, charger. That it doesn't... Our, our little brick that, yeah. has, that charges our phone. Right. We can power devices Exactly. With that. A little portable phone charger can power something like this for hours. Right. right. Hours. So plug this into your battery pack phone charger. And leave it in... Leave it in your car. Right. Put it on the dashboard. But is it meant for Canadian winters of minus billions degrees? Sure. sure. <laughs> Absolutely. I... <laughs> Give it but, a try, man. It's right? twenty five bucks. But even, okay, so right, so say you say you have a cottage, right? Yeah. 
and and you don't want to leave like a whole security setup at your cottage all the time but while <laughs> you're there you want to make sure that everything is well you've got the sd card capability right? so you don't yeah. need a dvr right if you have wi-fi available it's going to have the cloud option so that you can then bring it up in your app and be able to view what's going on this right. is why i think like putting in the driveway in the car on the dash looking at the window put two of them put one right. looking right. out each side mm. and for fifty dollars you now have full car surveillance right. connected to your home wi-fi so from your bedroom on your phone you can see what's happening in your car cool somebody walks up to it there's no more having to oh it's too blurry of an image from the front deck looking out at the car this is sitting right on the dash in 1080p about this close to the thief mm -hmm. I like think that. about that for a second i like that a lot yeah so hey check them out it's cat5.tv slash wise to uh, find out more information about them or to pick up um, some for yourself. Again, there's no DVR. There's no hub needed. You don't need any other peripherals. It's just it connects to your Wi-Fi. It's really easy to set up. You're going to use your phone or your tablet to be able to control them, and that's going to give you a really cool cloud-based um, home surveillance or business surveillance system. Love it. Also love, love how it. all these unboxings always end up products in my home. <laughs> <laughs> you just want more this stickers. This show <laughs> cost me so much money. Did GWG mention that you can get 10 of them for $250? I know, right? That's a steal. I all, yeah. <laughs> Definitely something we're, we're excited about, though, because what's happening is with the um, growth of the smart home kind of mentality, mm -hmm. we're seeing prices come way down. Oh, yeah. The Echo Dot 3 for 39 bucks Canadian. And that deal's still off. That's like $4 American, guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you think about the price and how they're dropping, 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 and you can get a surveillance system like this that cheaply. PTZ for 38 bucks in 1080p with cloud connectivity? Ridiculous. That's nuts. Yeah. Like, unheard of. Mm-hmm. And they're changing, like companies like Wise are changing the entire industry for consumers because right. now it's accessible. Now it's something that we can all get in on, on and have this type of protection for our home. Well, exactly. I love, love that. Absolutely love it.